quick refresher on bagging somebody with increased airway resistance or you know, ventilators, whatever. Uh, just looking at the difference between compliance and, and resistance. The setup here is just a bag valve mask with a pressure manometer. That's going into a piece of flex here, which is totally open right now. And then there's another manometer here and that's connecting to the test lung. And we should see pretty much when I squeeze this that the pressure manometers are pretty equal. The test lung inflates and deflates like we would expect it. And everything is normal. But if I were to take this clamp and I were to put it on the test lung, that would simulate a decrease in compliance where when I squeeze this, it's the pressure is going to ramp up really quickly. And for like a ventilator, if you took a plateau pressure, you know, both the peak and the plat would be high. There's really no escaping this pressure because it's all the way down at the end of the road. On the other hand, I could take this off and I could say, okay, there's no problem down here, um, but I could take that and I could put it on this piece of flex right here. And that would simulate some type of increased airway resistance. An example of that would be asthma or even croup because croup is an is a airway resistance somewhere between the lungs and the upper airway when we give this breath now you can see the pressures are really high by the bag valve mask and it takes forever for that lung to come back down but notice the pressure differences here when i bag i can go all the way up to 60 but the pressure doesn't start going up on the lung side for, for a good while. So there's maxed out, but still I'm barely getting 15 centimeters of water pressure on the other side of that obstruction. The danger can be, you know, I, I keep bagging this patient and I breath stack. So I start bagging before they're done exhaling, which depending on the degree of resistance, expiratory resistance, that could be quite a while. You can see I'll really hyper inflate that lung. And this is what a patient's chest could be like, waiting for it to exhale, keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. So something to keep in mind when you're bagging somebody with increased airway resistance is the difference between resistance and compliance. And we wanna make sure not to breath stack. And we also wanna keep our peak pressures in mind, especially on ventilators, that sometimes that peak pressure does not translate to a plateau pressure, but always check.